With more than 1.3 billion people and a rapidly expanding middle class, it's no wonder that China's aviation industry is one of the fastest growers in the world today. In 2008, China opened the world's largest airport terminal in Beijing, handling over 50 million passengers every year. Today, China's fleet is 1,400 aircraft compared to Japan's 540. Its domestic market of 5.7 million weekly seats is more than double Japan's 2.6 million, and China's 1.4 million weekly international seat market is now slightly larger than Japan's 1.3 million. The country is expected to purchase some 3,000 additional aircraft in the next 20 years to meet the increasing demand. In June, the International Air Transport Association said the Asian carriers are expected to deliver a profit of 2.2 billion dollars this year. This is more than double the previously forecast 900 million dollars in March, and a major reversal from the 2.7 billion dollar loss in 2009. China is also gaining a foothold in the competitive aviation industry by manufacturing its own commercial aircraft, the ARJ21. We are actually the largest domestic travel market worldwide, and China is right now. We are the number two largest outbound travel market worldwide. Each industry is not can never be independent from the、uh, the、uh, domestic economics growth. Yeah, China has been having this 10-digit percent economic GDP growth in the past few years. There are quite a lot of、uh, business travelers, and、uh, these guys they are just up in the air. So this is another factor, you know, not only for the private sector, for the B2B, the business sectors, the demand is there. I think because the、uh, the aviation industry domestically has been relatively underdeveloped, and I think what you're seeing in China is infrastructure has been improved. You know, they have some fantastic airports there now. You obviously have the the the,、uh, the population as well,、um, quite a mobile population within China. You're seeing wealth increase as well, so people can actually afford rather than getting on a bus to fly now.、Um, so all of those all those factors combined are actually you know spurring growth. And now you're starting to see airlines like Spring Airways, which is a, a low cost carrier. You know they're actually able to offer very affordable fares within China and overseas,、um, so that's really breaking new mold as well. So it's going to be a huge. It's a it's a booming market already, but it's going to be even larger in the next couple of years. China's aviation sector is on the fast track to success, with more people adopting air travel in China. Companies are seeking new ways to make flying more convenient for passengers. The online e-commerce will definitely be the trend. Yeah. So like、uh, take China for instance. In 2010, the forecast is we will have 37.5 million、um, online bookers, which has approximately 43 percent of the bookers they do airline air ticket book, bookings. Yeah. So in five years from now on, which means in 2015, people are expecting 168 million online bookers. If the ratio remains like that, yeah, forty percent, forty-five percent, and we can see the potential is very huge. What will the future of air travel be like? Find out in the next clip.